Hey everybody, what's going on? So today I'm just going to do a quick little review or update on my new bow that I got. Uh, just got in the mail today, my GNAT. Um, been looking at getting a new bow uh, for a little while now and I decided to go with the GNAT. There's a couple different ones that I was looking at and I decided I wanted to try something new, something I haven't shot before and decided to go with the GNAT, um, mainly because uh, you can call up Joey, you know, Green, Joey Greenwell, and uh, fully customize the bow exactly how you wanted it as far as, you know, color and, and just the whole setup could be fully customizable to how you wanted it. Um, and the price point I felt was pretty good. Um, I decided to go with the GNAT. Um, they also offer the G-Rex. I wanted to go with a G-NAT because uh, it's a camless system. Um, the last lever bow that I shot, it had cams. I loved it, I love that bow, but uh, I've been shooting it for about three years now and it was time to be looking at a new bow. So I decided to go with the G-NAT um, because it doesn't have any cams, the simplicity of it. Um, never had one before, never even been around somebody that shot one before. So. Thought I'd give this one a try. Um, my plan is I'm gonna get this thing fully set up and I'm gonna shoot it for a couple months. Once I do that and I really have a feeling for the bow, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a review of this bow. Um, I, I did some searching around on YouTube prior to buying this. I couldn't hardly find crap, honestly, um, for reviews on the GNAT. So I want to try and help that out a little bit, but I want to give an honest review. I don't want to just give a review based on, oh, you know, I've heard, you know, this about the GNAT or that. So I'm going to give my honest opinion after actually using it for a couple months. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to outfit my GNAT with uh, the Muzzy XD tournament reel. Um, this reel. I have another. I have one of these on my other bow that I've been shooting. Um, I shot this reel um, for pretty much this whole season. When I first put it on there, I didn't like it. I kind of like it now that I've used it for a little while, so I'm going to stick with that. I'm also going to do the Muzzy Tournament seat, uh, Muzzy Tournament reel seat. Um, again, I am going to do a review on this standalone piece after I've actually used it. I'm going to use the quick draw rest. Again, I've used this rest for a couple years now. I really like this rest. And I'm also going to put a TJE shoot through rod on it. So that's going to be my setup for my GNAT. Um, but basically, this video, I'm really not, I, I don't have a lot to say other than uh, be looking in the next couple months for my video on the actual review of this bow. Uh, quick first impressions of it. When I first got it in the box, just the bow was in the box. There wasn't any instructions. There wasn't anything like that. Um, I would really like to see some instructions or something, some literature come with the bow on how to adjust it. Now, I, I, I get it, you know, you, you call up Joey and you tell him exactly how you want it set up, so what's the problem? Why do you have to change it? Well, maybe one night I know I'm shooting numbers and I want to turn the poundage down on this thing because I'm going to be shooting gar all night long and I, I only want to shoot 30 pounds, you know, or 27 or whatever it is. But the next night I know where I'm going, I'm going to be shooting really deep clear water and I need to turn that poundage up and I want to get it up to 37, 40 or even higher. I have no idea how to do that. I mean, I can look at it and, and figure it out, you know, obviously I probably turn the limb bolts down. Um, but as far as the, the cable pockets up here, I have no idea how to adjust any of this. So I would really like to have seen that in some kind of literature um, come with the bow. It's really not taking anything away from the bow. It's just something that I would have liked to have seen. Um, so pulled the bow out and uh, you know, it's, it's a friggin' one-off bow, man. It's awesome. 
paint scheme on it is exactly like I asked for. Um, it's got the the green cryptic camo. It's got green hardware. You know, I mean, this thing is it's pretty cool, man. The colors are real crisp, real sharp. You know, when I when I called talked to Joey and was you know explaining what I wanted uh, I was really hoping that when I said neon green you know that's what I got and I didn't get some kind of like a, a forest green or, or something like that uh, really came through on the colors you know colors are awesome uh, the string just like I wanted it's a green and white twist string uh, finger savers just a lime green color you know, I mean, there's not a whole lot to really say up front here. Um, one thing that I did kind of notice, um, the, the finish on it, if you look real, real closely all the way through it, um, there's kind of sand marks. You can kind of see sand marks and, and a few little, little places. It's, the finish isn't like super, super smooth. Uh, it's not a huge deal. It's you know, it's not a deal breaker. I'm not gonna talk bad about it like it looks like crap or anything like that because it doesn't. It's just if you look real close, you can see little little gouges and stuff. But um, obviously, it's not gonna affect the performance of it, and that's what I'm really interested in. Uh, the second thing, once I got it out of the package, first thing, obviously, I went to draw it, and holy crap, it draws quite a bit harder than what I expected. Again, that's that's my fault because when I uh, had Joey set it up, told him I wanted to pull uh, 40 pounds with the idea that I would turn it down, you know. But the problem is, I'm not 100% sure what the process is to turn it down. Um, so I did send an email today asking for those instructions. Hopefully, I can get that. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and screw out the limb bolts and and uh, adjust it that way. And hopefully, that's right. But uh, it did draw a little bit harder than what I was hoping for. Not a big deal. Um, the other thing is my, the draw length. Um, I got these little stubby arms. A buddy of mine says I got Transaurus Rex arms, whatever. And uh, so the measurement system, he said, was to measure basically, I think it was finger to finger, and then cut that in half. And when I did that, came up to like 27 and a half. And so that's what he's got it set at. When I drew it for the first time, I was like, ooh, this is quite a bit shorter than what I'm used to. I'm sure, again, I'm sure it was built exactly to like I said, but actually pulling it back and feeling that, I, I really would like to adjust that to a little bit longer of a draw. Again, nothing against the bow, nothing against Joe or anything like that. It's just little, little setups changes that I would like to make that goes back to I would have liked to have had some instructions uh, sent with it or some way to know how to make these adjustments um, but man it's super cool looking and I can't wait to get this thing set up and uh, get out and shoot some fish with it so I just wanted to do a real quick video uh, just to kind of get the word out there that I got this bow and I am going to do some reviews um, if, if you follow my channel or if this is the first time uh, watching go back and look I've got some previous uh, videos on my other bow that I shoot um, once I shoot this one I am going to do a comparison of the two and uh, I kind of see which one I like better I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna mention in this video what that bow is if you're interested in that go on back to my other videos and it won't be hard for you to figure out what that is um, so you'll kind of get an idea of what my reviews and stuff look like so anyhow I'm gonna cut it cut it off right now and uh, like I said be watching next couple months here hopefully I can get this next video out to show you what my my real thoughts and impressions of this thing are gonna be so till then thanks guys